Celebrating the rich flavor of Latin culture, Ballet Hispanico provides an opportunity for students to learn to dance. Dance is the rhythmic movement to music through the body. With Ballet Hispanico, that definition is demonstrated beautifully while embracing Latin culture. Opening the doors in 1970, the dance company began with a goal to bring a voice to the Latino artist. Ballet Hispanico was founded in 1970 by choreographer and teacher Dina Ramirez. Dina wanted to give voice to the Latino artists by providing access to good, um, artistic education and performance opportunities. So she started with a, a handful of young ladies that seemed to have some talent. She took over the uh, studio of her mentor, Lola Bravo, who was a famous flamenco dancer. And um, she started training these young ladies. These young ladies then got so good, they started dancing in festivals in La Calle. They started um, performing in um, different corporate events. And all of a sudden, a dance company was born. The pre-professional program starts at age seven. They study three specific genres, ballet, modern, and flamenco. Ballet Hispanico keeps dancers coming back because they have the freedom to express themselves through the fusion of Latin and American culture. About taking my Mexican culture, because I'm Mexican-American, as well as my American upbringing, and sort of um, just celebrating that fusion of those two different cultures and how they come together and how they merge and um, taking iconic symbols and really celebrating them through the, through the piece. Flamenco is a Spanish art form made up of three parts, guitar playing, song, and dance. Originally from Spain, the dance includes more than just movements. It includes many other components that bring the performance together. Part of the curriculum is the integration of props, the technique of the props, so we have the skirt, the falda that the ladies learn to use from a young age. They learn how to hold it, how to move it. Um, it's an extension of the movement. And they also learn the castanet technique. They learn how to use a Spanish fan, how to use a Spanish hat, how to use a Spanish cape, the Spanish stick, the baston. I'd say my favorite part about teaching is witnessing the growth and seeing the learning that's taking place. I love being part of that process and assisting their discovery of dance and seeing them fall in love with the art form. Yeah. I also really love um, the moment when they connect to their culture and their heritage and feeling, you know, seeing them feel that pride and that identification that takes place when they're studying those dance forms. Okay, one of my favorite quotes from the gram, I think I always like use it for the students and I think that's um, representing, kind of representing what I think about the school. It's, um, you're unique, and if it's not fulfilled, then something has been lost. And I think like, I do care about each of my students, and I think every teacher here does too. The school does too. Uh, we all work to support the students and make them, each of them, grow as a person and not just as a dancer. So just like the process of immigration, you come, you have something with you, you mix with everybody else, and then it's something new. It, it is something new because it's not totally what's at home, it's not totally American, it's a fusion. So that is what this company is about. It's about fusing. Ballet Hispanico teaches more than just an art of dance. It keeps the community involved with Latin culture. I'm Sabrina Burgess, reporting for BronxNet.